Okay, good morning everyone. I hope you are all okay. Have you all taken a shower? At least feel fresh to have our lesson today, this morning. Alright, for those of you who wants to take the breakfast while we are having our lesson, you are more than welcome to do so as long as you are in a good condition. All right, uh, we are still in unit 10 about entertainment. I hope you, you still remember all the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. Today, a uh, little bit of uh, set induction activity. All right, now you look at the pictures and then match them to the type of activity. First, art exhibition. What is exhibition? Anybody knows the meaning? You know what is art? What about exhibition? Wait, wait, I forgot the meaning. Pameran? Yes, very good. It's a pameran. Um, a book club, circus, comedy show. It could be a stand-up comedian show or group comedy show like we have here in Malaysia we have a lot of that but in other countries they usually have the way uh, the stand up stand up comedy means only one person talking all right cookery class art class street festival okay street here means jalanan magic show pop concert sporting event okay it related to sports dance performance and play play here remember it's not the play it's a drama okay and the theater okay now you look at number one here this boy number two the lion dance number three four okay this is number five. It's, the picture is not very clear, but I hope we can still get the idea from the small photos. Number six. Few kids are doing something here. <clears throat> it looks like a sculpture. Okay, and this is number seven. Number eight. Nine. Look at the bicycle. Ten. They are holding books. Eleven and 12 this is on stage eh? all right what do you think is number one what is number one anyone magic yes it's a magic show number two street festival street festival okay because this is a celebration okay it looks like a chinese new year but it is performed on the street so it is a street festival number three pop concert yes pop concert number four art exhibition very good art exhibition number five Number five, this one could be circus. Um, it's not circus because I think number seven is circus, right? Number seven is circus. This could be for me. I think this is a uh could be a com. Is it a com? This is a comedy show. Okay, look at their costumes. All right, so number six is, they are not cooking. What is this? Play. Uh, play is drama, right? Oh, play is, play is drama. Number five could be play. Yes, number five could be a play on stage. Okay, number six, they are doing arts. They are, they are doing sculpture. So this is an... Art class. Art class. Number seven is circus. Number eight is comedy show. Because it could be a stand-up comedian. 
Okay, this number 8 is a comedy show. Number 5 just now is not a comedy show. I would say it's a play because there are props here. Props and costumes. Okay, number 8 is a uh, comedy show. Number 9? Sports event. Sports event. Number 10? Can you guess number 10? Book club. Number 11 is cookery class. And last one, number 12, they are all dancing. It could be a dance performance. All right, now I would like you listen to the audio and write the numbers for each activity. So I hope you have a piece of paper with you. Okay, just jot down A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And after this, you just write the number whether it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. Can you do that for me? All right. Have you written it down? Class? Yeah. Okay, very good. So I'm going to play the audio. And after that, you write the numbers next to the letters, okay? A. This entertainment is usually in a big tent. You can see clowns and acrobats here. B. People tell stories and jokes here. It's funny. People smile and laugh a lot. C. You can see sculptures, paintings or drawings here. It's usually in an art gallery. D. People often go to a stadium to see this. And it's very exciting. You can see a rugby match or a football match, for example. E. A group sings and plays music on a stage here. The music is usually modern. F. This entertainment is often outside. You can do lots of different things here. You can listen to music, watch a dance performance, or go to a craft workshop. G. People learn how to make things here. They often use paper, glue, and paints. H. People talk about books here. They talk about the things they like and the things they don't like in the books. Is the audio clear for you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Eh? okay uh, so the numbers that I'm talking about are the numbers from here. Can you repeat the okay. Audio? I will repeat the audio, but you look at the answers are here. Eh? So for A, uh, you choose which place is this number one or four eight ten twelve okay the answers are from here eh? okay. okay one more time a this entertainment is usually in a big tent you can see clowns and acrobats here b People tell stories and jokes here. It's funny. People smile and laugh a lot. C. You can see sculptures, paintings or drawings here. It's usually in an art gallery. D. People often go to a stadium to see this. And it's very exciting. You can see a rugby match or a football match, for example. E. 
A group sings and plays music on a stage here. The music is usually modern. F. This entertainment is often outside. You can do lots of different things here. You can listen to music, watch a dance performance, or go to a craft workshop. G. People learn how to make things here. They often use paper, glue, and paints. H. People talk about books here. They talk about the things they like and the things they don't like in the books. All right. Uh, did you manage to get the answers? What is A? A is number? What is the answer for A? Seven. Number seven, yes. It's a circus. What about B? Number eight. Pardon? Number eight. B is number eight, yes. It's about comedian. Uh, C? Art exhibition. Yes, art exhibition number four here. D? Sporting event. Number nine. E? Did you get the answers for E? Oh, concert. Pardon? Number? E. Three, three. Number three, yes, pop concert. F. F. I don't know what to say about that. Yes, That's I actually so confused com about F too. It's so complicated. Because there are a few things in one place, right, for F. Okay, I'm going to skip F because there are too many information about F. Okay, what about G and H? It's very clear, G and H. Art club. Yes, G is art class. And last one? Book club. Book club. It's a book club. Very good. Okay, from this many entertainment, which one that you like the most? Of course, then the comedy. Comedy and like comedy. Which one, number? Um, number eight. Number eight. Oh, you like number eight. You like comedy. I yes. like number three. <laughs> I like to go to concert. I hate, I hate concert. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Which one you prefer? Which, what kind of entertainment? Let's see if you have time, if you have the money, if you have time and we don't have COVID, which one would you go? Ten. Number ten. Oh, a book club. Wow. Very good. Sometimes... I'll, I'll go number four. If number number four. four. Number four. Wow. Art exhibition. I like art. I will go number six. Oh, you like arts? Number six is like doing things where you have hands-on activities. Very nice too. Concert is a pain in your ears. It's not if you love the song. If you love the songs, you can sing along. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, we all have our own preference. Um, and actually, uh, what kind of entertainment that you choose is actually uh, showing who you are as a person. Like if you, uh, you like to watch comedy show, maybe you are a funny person. If you like art ex exhibition or if you like number six, doing arts, maybe I would expect you are more like an introvert person but have a very deep empathy in yourself. Wow. Maybe, yeah. Book clubs could be interesting. I have once joined a book club. They don't do it in the library. They don't do it at home. They do it... um. The the session they do it no book club not for learners. They do the session at a resort. Very very nice place. It's like you are going somewhere that you like. Um, a very serene place, very calm, and then you talk about the books. 
They are not learners. They are very good readers. Macam I would say. Macam perpustakaan lah. <laughs> they are not a library librarian. Okay, I I have a friend who can read two novels at the same time. Like they are, they have a very sharp mind and like thinking nicely. Book clubs is good. Yes. Gabriel's and apart reading. from apart from concert. A play is also nice. I like play. Okay. Uh, if you like to watch live performance, not on TV, if you like to watch theatre, you can try going uh, to a play. And actually, the actors and actresses in play are much more... Uh, they are much more... <laughs> well, how would I say? Uh? Much more bet much better than uh, the ones on the TV because they cannot... A redo their act. It's a one, one time act. Okay, but I don't see anybody choose seven and eleven. Nobody likes seven or eleven. Anyone? I'm too lazy to cook, you know. <laughs> Same as well to me. Yes. Yeah. Most of us are quite lazy. I only to know cook. how to cook one thing only. <laughs> Okay, but if you like, if you like to cook, you can go for 11. And 7 is actually like number 5. They are more or less the same. Okay, that's enough for types of entertainment. Let's uh, take out your textbook and turn to page 126. Page 126. We're still going to do listening. Mm. Right. Okay. Are we on the same page now? Page one to six. You already? Yes. Okay, very good. How can I stop this? Huh? Ah, I'm gonna turn off. Okay. Uh, now, before we start the listening activity, match the sections of a theatre A to E with the words below. So, look at the pictures here. We have A and then this area B. Okay, behind the doors, we have C and D. Okay. Alright, tell me what is number one. Uh, sorry, uh, what is A? Stage. A stage. A is a stage where you have the backdrop. Here is the, the backdrop. Eh? And you put the props here. These are the props. It's not very clear in the picture. Okay. Now, uh, B. What about B? That stage. Yes, it's a backstage. Oh, it, uh, there's a runner here. The person who's in charge of taking things, bringing things there and all. A, uh, runner is a very important job too. And C, there are uh, mirrors here. It's like a makeup room. You see? Yeah. Dressing room. These are like for... Makeup um, before the, the, the acting start. Okay. This is a dressing room, okay, where they put their makeup on, their costumes, their hair, okay. And last one is the. Isn't isn't the is a makeup is the costume? Please. Yes, this one is the costumes, eh? Okay, costumes. Actually, for me, a theater or a play is interesting because of the costumes. I like to see costumes. Especially when they do medieval play or uh, medieval theater, maybe like uh, Shakespeare or at that time. Uh, that time, if we have like in, in our own local context, maybe during Hang Tua or Hang Jebat time, so I can look at their clothes and all. I really like costumes. What One of the main things when we watch theatre is for the costumes. Because we don't see this in our everyday lives. Okay. 
Look at B. Where would you find props in the theater? Where would you find props in the theater? Props. Uh, barang hiasan. Behind the theater. Okay, backstage. And where else? When you don't use the props yet, maybe it's in the different scene, maybe next scene in the backstage. When it's on the scene, it is on? On the stage. On the stage, yes. So that's why they need the runner here. Okay? Once scene one is finished, go to scene two. They need different props. The runner will bring all the props very quickly here. Right, you're going to listen to five people talking and write the words from A and B that they are talking about. So A and B are all the words here or all the things that we have discussed just now. And you tell me... Um, the the things that they are talking about there are five things here okay are you ready ready now listen yes. yes. page 126 c one the feeling you get when you're standing on it is magical when you feel the heat of the lights and know all of those people are watching you it's very exciting two most people prefer to work at the front of the theater, doing the lights or sound. But I like working here. You don't see the audience, but you get to meet the actors and musicians, and it's good fun when everyone is excited about the performance before they go on stage. Three. Our school play this year is quite difficult for us backstage. The actors have a scene where they all eat around a table. So we've got chairs, cups, plates, food and drink. Knives, forks, and all sorts back here. It's a complete mess. Four. There isn't much room in here. There are 15 girls in the play, and we all put our costumes on in here. You have to be very organised, or you start losing things. Five. I'm very lucky because in this play, I wear some beautiful things. The dresses are especially lovely. It's great to be able to wear different styles. All right, did you manage to get all the answers for number one until five? Yeah. The others? Yes. All right, number one, what they are talking about? Stitch. Very good. Okay, he's talking about the, the stage, stage presence or stage, yeah? Number two. Yes, Noreen, I couldn't hear you. What about number two? Number one is stage. Number two, what they are talking about? Backstage. Very good. Backstage, eh? Michelin. All right, number three. What they are what are they talking about in number three? They have talked about stage and then backstage. Anybody gets the answer for number three? No. Okay, we, we skip that one first. What about number four? Costumes. Number four and five is actually um, more or like more Number or less. four is dressing room. Yes, number four is the dressing room and number five is the... Costume. Costumes, very good. Okay, so we miss out number three. Anybody gets the answer for number three or not? I will play again for number three. I think audience. Eh? No, audience is a penonton, eh? No. Didn't say about the audience. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's re listen again just for number three. Listening, uh, unit 10, page 126, yeah. C. How can I fast forward this? One. The feeling you get when you're standing on it is magical. When you feel the heat of the lights and know all of those people are watching you, it's very exciting. Two. Most people prefer to work at the front of the theatre, doing the lights or sound. But I like working here. You don't see the audience, but you get to meet the actors and musicians, and it's good fun when everyone is excited about the performance before they go on stage. 
three. Our school play this year is quite difficult for us backstage. The actors have a scene where they all eat around a table. So we've got chairs, cups, plates, food and drink, knives, forks, and all sorts back here. It's a complete mess. All right, so he's talking about the things like chair, Pop. table. I think cafeteria. Uh, no, they are, they are, we are talking about theater. Cafeteria is different. <laughs> no, no, we are talking about theater. We are still talking about theater. So imagine the scene where... TV stuff. Yeah, stuff. what do we call the stuff? Props. Yes, very good. That's the answer. Props. Okay, all the stuff used in the uh, in the play, the table. Last time we learned about comic books, right? So when they play, uh, last time we, we learned a, a play about comic books. What's the title? There could be only one. You, do you still remember that about the Spider-Man last copy? Yeah. So imagine that that play is on stage. So they need the props like comic books, the counter table and the suitcase okay uh, the things whatever things are displayed on the stage are called props okay so number three is props barang barang okay now look at uh the next one okay read the exam close up imagine the words which could complete the gaps read and listen to the exam instructions carefully first then read the heading. Heading is a uh, near eh? tajuk dia, and the information. And try to think of words that could fit in each gap. So that's why when you listen, you read first and try to find the clue. Remember, you can write numbers as ten or ten. Spelling. It is important to fill in the exact words you hear and to write no more than three words. Okay, for listening, actually. You need to write the words with correct spelling. Last time, last PT3, you all have no PT3, right? Okay, last PT3, they don't accept answers with incorrect spelling. Even though it sounds the same, but once the spelling is incorrect, they don't accept the answers. Eh? Uh, write no more than three words. Check your answers and spelling carefully when you listen again. All right, now you you will hear some information about the school, school music and dance competition. Fill in the missing information in the numbered space here. What is length? Length of performance. What does it mean? Is the, it start with D. D U. What does it mean with length of performance? Do Ray? Yeah, in English, dure? duration. Very good, Sasa. Duration, okay? So it's a duration, uh, masa dia. The main performers, yang utama, okay? Subject, this year. Dance teams should mix what styles? What kind of styles here? You have to listen. Okay, the judges. For contemporary dancer and rapper. Okay. First prize. And then other prizes. Strip to where? And then the information for final performance. Okay. Do you have any questions about this part? Any no. Questions? Not right. even. Eh? Oh, no. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to play the audio now. Listening, Unit 10, page 126E. You will hear some information about a school music and dance competition. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. This is an announcement for all secondary school students. We are organising a music and dance competition before the end of summer term. So if you are good at singing, dancing or playing musical instruments, this competition is for you. Your performance should be between 20 and 30 minutes long and you can use the school assembly hall to practice before the final day. You should work in teams of six to eight and you need to have four main performers. 
one musician, one singer, and two dancers. The group that won the competition last year had 10 people. But unfortunately this year, we don't have so much space for the performances, so please remember that eight is the limit. It's the fourth year we have organized this type of event for the end of term. And in the last few years, we've asked for different kinds of entertainment. For example, musical comedy or something similar to Glee. This year, we're hoping for something a bit different. We're looking for music that is more alternative and dance teams that can mix classical with modern styles. This is quite a challenge, but we're sure many of our talented students can use their imagination and skills. Last year's winners were from year four, and they gave a wonderful performance, especially the pianist and lead singer. But as I said, don't copy the style of previous years. Try and be original and creative. Our judges for the competition this year are Martin Wilson, who has his own contemporary dance company for teenagers, and Gigi Kulke, a young rapper who has just released her first album on the internet. And there are some great prizes for the winners this year. The first prize winners will get a visit to the Westbeat International Academy and the chance to have a special class with the best music and dance teachers. And other prizes include a trip to a West End musical in London or a set of sheet music with lyrics. Everyone is welcome to come and see the performances in the Town Council Hall, which is big enough for 500 people and has a fantastic stage and excellent sound system. There is plenty of space in the backstage area where you can put any costumes, instruments or props and get changed in the dressing room. So don't wait until it's too late to enter our competition. Contact Mrs. Adams, the music teacher, when you have decided to participate. You can also find information. All right. Okay. Is it too fast? Oh, is it okay with you? No, I get it. Okay, I will I will play the audio one more time. Okay, for the others who couldn't get it, and please check your answers carefully. All right. Listening, Unit Ten, Page One Hundred Twenty Six E. You will hear some information about a school music and dance competition. For each question. Fill in the missing information in the numbered space. This is an announcement for all secondary school students. We are organising a music and dance competition before the end of summer term. So if you are good at singing, dancing or playing musical instruments, this competition is for you. Your performance should be between 20 and 30 minutes long and you can use the school assembly hall to practice before the final day. You should work in teams of six to eight, and you need to have four main performers, one musician, one singer, and two dancers. The group that won the competition last year had 10 people. But unfortunately this year, we don't have so much space for the performances, so please remember that eight is the limit. It's the fourth year we have organized this type of event for the end of term, and in the last few years, we've asked for different kinds of entertainment. For example, musical comedy or something similar to Glee. This year, we're hoping for something a bit different. We're looking for music that is more alternative and dance teams that can mix classical with modern styles. This is quite a challenge, but we're sure many of our talented students can use their imagination and skills. Last year's winners were from year four and they gave a wonderful performance, especially the pianist and lead singer. But as I said, don't copy the style of previous years. Try and be original and creative. Our judges for the competition this year are Martin Wilson, who has his own contemporary dance company for teenagers, and Gigi Kulke, a young rapper who has just released her first album on the internet. And there are some great prizes for the winners this year. The first prize winners will get a visit to the Westbeat International Academy and the chance to have a special class with the best music and dance teachers. And other prizes include a trip to a West End musical in London or a set of sheet music with lyrics. 
Everyone is welcome to come and see the performances in the Town Council Hall, which is big enough for 500 people and has a fantastic stage and excellent sound system. There is plenty of space in the backstage area where you can put any costumes, instruments or props and get changed in the dressing room. So, don't wait until it's too late to enter our competition. Contact Mrs Adams, the music teacher, when you have decided to participate. You can also find information... All right. What's the answer for the first one? 30 minutes. Okay. 30, 30 minutes. You can write 3-0. Or what is the spelling for 30? P... P H R T Y. Okay, make sure it's correct. Second yeah. one. Dances. Musician, singer, and two dancers. Ah, if you answer dancer, it's wrong. You need dancers because it's yeah. There. Eh? Make sure you have the S. All right, and number three. What is the subject this year? Okay, that's a bit complicated. Alright, did anybody get it? It starts from A, L, Alter. Alternative. Very good. It's alternative, eh? Alright. Number four, we have classical and modern. Very good. Mix of classical and modern. Classical and modern. All right. What about number five? He has album. his first, first album. Album. Very good. And next one? Musical. Musical. Okay. Yes. And last one. How many? 500. Okay, you can write 500 or 500. Okay, very good. I hope you all get the answers correctly, eh? Except for number three, it's a bit difficult. All right, now, uh, you have to click on this link right now. I'll show you the link. Okay, look at in the chat room. Okay, look at the chat room. Okay, uh, you have to answer these questions here. Entertainment and the arts. Look at number one. We can do this together, but you still have to submit your answers to my email, okay? I like this book and I've read six... What? Oh, this one is already answered. Chapter, sorry. Number two, the play is very long, but there are three what? Ah, yes, Anusha. Don't worry, you can do later. But I just want to go through if anyone wants to straight away do it. And don't forget to send it to my email later. The, the, the address is in the chat room. Uh, the play. Play is not a film. So it must have... Breaks. Not breaks. Breaks is in TV show. We have... Intervals. Uh, yes, intervals. Okay. At the cinema, I don't like sitting too near the film screen or stage. This one is cinema. Screen. Screen. Very good. If it's a theater, play is a stage. Eh? We heard a piece by Mozart, performed by a German. Mozart, eh? Band. Orchestra. Orchestra. Definitely, it's not a band. The second book was very popular and became a best. What do we call this? Best buy, best seller or best volume? Best seller. Very best. good, best seller. Robert's new book will be? It's a book. Broadcast? Publish. Publish. Okay, publish, eh? not type. I like the acting and the what? Acting is lakunan. So we have costume, dressing. Costumes. Yes, costumes and the best what in film? The best scene. We cannot say act, eh? Because it's not scene. a play. So for film, it's a scene. 
Alright, number two, if you can do this, you can do it straight away. If you don't have the internet connection, you can write down the answers first later on. You can just do it. The orchestra would not be so successful with a different conductor. I want a book on art, but I don't know the name of the book on art. What word is related to art here? Seni, art. Anybody? Any idea? Author. Author. This one is a book about art. Um, oh, art. I don't think it's the author. We can go back to this just to be sure. We must see the new film by that Italian film. Director. Director. Good. The what said that the sports program is on after the news. News is... Who give who give news? Who read the news? What do we call the person? The announcer. Very good. The the announcer. Okay, the person who's talking on the news kita panggil announcer. Harry writes for the theater, but he is not only a. The person who writes the theater. What do we call him? Playwright. Playwright. Very good. We saw some interesting metal objects made by a French. What? Metal objects. Ah, uh, this one could be the... I think this one is a sculpture. So, number two is the author because it's a book. Number two is author uh, because this is object is a sculpture, pengukir. That's a nice piece of music. Who is the? What do we call the person who do a music? Composer. Very good. Composer. Peter Smith was the only who wrote in praise of the film. Dia puji. Dia tak kritik. Dia puji film tu. Kritik. Was the only critic I already said the answers. Okay, Charles Dickens is probably the best known British director. Charles Dickens is a novel. Yeah, yeah. So novelist. Novelist. And last one, the newspaper usually decides what it contains. The person young to list newspaper. Is the editor. The editor of the newspaper usually decides what it contains. Okay. These are all the people working in, in the entertainment industry. Last one. Okay. No recording can be good as good as live concert. Okay. It was very white story and made me laugh a lot. Current is right now. Dull is uh, boring. Gripping. Uh, um... Like holding your attention, eh? Humorous is funny, modern, popular, public, readable. It's expected or can be read, can be read or special. What is this? Number two. It was a very what story and made me laugh a lot. When you laugh, that means a humorous. story. Humorous. Humorous, yes. Number three. I couldn't put that book down. It had such a... When you keep reading the book, it, 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 it fully captured your attention the whole time. It's very gripping. Okay? So it has such a gripping plot. Most people find it difficult to understand what art. It could be modern arts. Okay? Modern arts. My favourite television programs are about what affairs. Affairs. It could be public affairs. Of course, it is possible to like both classical and okay. So it's not modern just now. About art. Number four. Okay, so this one classic. The opposite of classic is anyone. Number six. Of course, it is possible to like both classical and what music. The opposite of classic is modern. Very good, Nicholas. 
everyone enjoyed the what effects in the Lord of the Rings films? What kind of effect? Very good. Special effects. I don't buy books because there is good library nearby. There is what? What kind of library? Public. Public. Um, okay. Number nine, we both found it a very what film? I'm afraid. What do we call it? Something not interesting, boring. Dull. Very good. Dull. And last one, it was an interesting book and very, when we talk about book, very? Readable. Readable. Okay. So that's all. You click on the answers, write on the answers, and as usual, you send it to my email here. Okay? That's my email, and then the address of the link of the exercise is in the chat room. Any questions? Do you have any questions? Class, you all still okay or hungry already? Okay. Okay, eh? no questions, eh? Okay, I'll see you next week or uh, tomorrow, okay? Okay, don't forget to do the exercise. Still okay. Teacher, <laughs> the attendance? Pardon? Attendance? Okay, attendance, eh?